I'm Ruchira Shukla. I lead the disruptive tech investing for IFC. And this includes direct equity investing in early stage technology startups, as well as investing in VC funds. I'm responsible for South Asia. We have a large portfolio across the region, largely in India. We have invested in about 16 companies in India, eight of which have grown to be unicorns. And we have investments in about nine VC funds. On average, our tech business in India has returned IRRs of 30% US dollar over the last 10 years. So we look for a double bottom line, which effectively means we're looking for both impact and financial returns. And that goes in the, with the numbers I talked about. The reason we've been able to turn 50% of the companies we backed into unicorns is because we go in relatively early. We're not seed investors. We go in past series A and we back the companies as they grow in subsequent rounds. And we do a lot of work with companies to help them grow across various segments. It could be strategy, it could be operations. We help them grow both within the country as well as internationally. We make our networks available to them in order to help them solve various facets of their strategic and operational issues. Uh, we invest across sectors. The sectors of focus for us in this fiscal year, which is FY 23-24, is um, health tech, climate tech, SaaS, as well as creator economy companies. You know, corporate governance is a very complex and a very, very pivotal topic. Um, my one advice to founders is no shortcuts work. Right? And when things go wrong, there is not just a depletion of value for investors, there's huge depletion of value for the founders, for management team, for employees. And then they should remember that it's not governance for governance sake. Governance is pivotal to building a sustainable business. And if there are shortcuts in governance sooner or later, the ship will start faltering and the ship will fail. So that's a huge price paid when things go wrong. And therefore, it can never hurt to be super cautious. I think they should have the tightest governance control. They should also work with their boards, with their investors in improving those checks and balances, in having that constant dialogue. The pace at which a startup grows means things will go wrong, but it needs to be, it needs to be flagged almost immediately to the board, to the investors, and fixes need to be put in place. So nobody will fault them for things going wrong as long as they have kept their eye on stuff and fixed it as soon as things surface. Things become, they grow out of proportion when they are ignored or when things are brushed under the carpet, when people try to hide things, that's when trust breaks and things. So never be under pressure to hide things. Please be transparent with your investors. Please be transparent with your boards.